Uh, fa, fa, remember we've spoken about this several here, and um, you assured Camunians that they are taking down the notes and that they were going to come, but we are six, seven years. The national community is growing the more silent about what is happening in Cameroon, even when we are faced with such attacks like what we lived last last night in um, early this morning in Manfe. Well, uh, are, they are, they wait are they waiting for the cop to be fuller than it is today? Uh, I must be honest here, Mr. Liu. Mm -hmm. You know, um, this is six years, seven years going. And we keep turning around and around. And uh, you have quite been getting us to educate the population here mm -hmm. on what should be done. Mm -hmm. First, before I come to answer your question, when I hear somebody on air says rice, you see where I begin to say that something is wrong. You don't have an arm. And you say people have risen somewhere. Have, have risen somewhere. How many places have people risen somewhere? And what are the consequences of those who rose up? Take Bobanki, for example. People are still in Kosovo as I speak. Some have even, uh, uh, I think about two were killed as I got in that sad note there. And these were some of the people they say they had risen against Amber on the way calling on this and that. Look at the consequence we're talking about here. Let nobody deceive you in his air condition office in Douala. That rise, rise. Because to rise against an armed somebody is taking the highest risk on earth. I'm not saying it's not, I'm not saying it's something that we should encourage. But how do you rise like what my brother was talking here? We need to value life. A politician will come on air and tell you, rise, 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 and he's in Douala. Air condition, Mr. Kedia, enjoying himself and fitting and looking very fat. And tells you in the village, rise. When you'll be in trouble, Kedia will not be there. He'll be blowing gamma here today, hot, tomorrow, hot, and all the like. We don't do that. Mr. Leo, the truth in the whole issue is that, as I said, there is no that's been taken. With the international community, they have what they call the red line. I'm sorry, probably people uh, have been educating people on this. International community has a modus operandi. They have a way of qualifying, uh, of qualifying uh, what they call uh, uh, political issues in various countries. When the way they qualify is not the way we look at it. Now, if you look at it, they have hot uh, files on their table. Somalia is there. It's, it, it's, it's quite boiling. We have Middle East, Israel and Palestine. That has even come of recent. And even overshadow the issues of Kivu in the northern regions of uh, Katanga and other like in DRC, this issue of carbon even made them they have even forgotten and considered because while they are thinking of solving a particular issue, another one comes up overnight and becomes hotter than the previous one. And so sometimes it will take time, but as I said, all crimes are being documented. I can assure you that as the crisis is coming to an end. People will stand trial in a special tribunal. I've been saying this. Whether you were a minister, or you were a general, or you were a spokesman to whatever group, a time is coming when we will be behind, will be behind the dock, answering questions in relation to what happens in the area and the role we played. Rwanda showed us that. When Rwandan genocide came, people said, no, 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 it was over. But 20 years after, even some of the men in Kigali were even were, were handpicked in Europe, when they were almost already old. Even and now they are still even now they're still picking up people. The man for Hotel Rwanda. Hotel Rwanda was also picked up for recent. So you can discover that once crime against humanity is concerned, it is a matter of time. The only thing that can save you is if you die. As long as you exist, even at the age of 90, you will be, be brought to book. So at the end of it, Mr. Liu, we look at Manfred, we are lamenting. That's why I say when we speak water in our mouth, it reflects where we come from. The issue is not, the issue is what has caused this what is the root cause of it you cannot be suffering from malaria and you're taking typhoid medicine and expect to get well look at the social in boya that a cancer sits boya cancer for example others are emulating in the southwest and northwest and on ghost town days you go and seal the shops of people when you seal on monday tuesday they rush to the council and pay to the five fifty thousand francs when they open you wait again after about two three weeks because they will lock every morning because they are afraid of the fear of the unknown. The mayor is keeping with military. They move around with military men. But you who leave from Munya to go and open your shop, you are afraid of the fear of the unknown because you can be picked up back in your house to ask why did you sell on that day? Now look at where the Mzinon puts people at, lock, at, at, at the tech corner. And at the end, it is now councils want to raise money and not because they want to they want to fight against ghost town. When they need this amount of money, oh yeah, go and steal. They sealed number of shops. 
And on Tuesday, when is a Thursday, people flood the council and pay to the 50,000 francs. Do you tell me this is a government that works for the people? When you, the council, knows that these people are vulnerable already, their shops can be destroyed. Let me ask you, Javis is here. When the taxi was dis destroyed in Munya, till today, do you think that those taxi men have, been, have received compensation for working on a ghost town day? That's, that's it is not. Reality. It is not. For God's sake, we are looking at a problem that we have been examining for over seven years. And people still come on air and they blow grammar. The issue we're talking about killing. I've said earlier, nobody has any right to kill for whatsoever reason. But if I tell you that we are at war and they're killing us on both sides, Kenya will, 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 will sugarcoat sugar, sugar it on its own side. We have some soya incidents in Belo. All of us know about it. We have we know about issues whereby military men, even in Boya, we just see a young man intercept you, go to your phone and say, Yeah, it's coming. Bam, they hold you there. You have money on the spot. I mean, on the spot. That's kidnapping of the first order. I mean, on the spot. I witnessed what I'm hearing. I've intervened two times of about five university students who were in the hillocks. And they were going around, they were like, I asked them issue. They said, No, uh, it's on the eastern side of the scam. I said, Man, Iakwa. Before they were released, it was, we had to be at local heads. Imagine how much form of extortion. See, Mr. Leo, let's call the spade a spade. If you amber, you arrest a man and you're asking for money, it's kidnapping. If you mean it to you, hold somebody in broad daylight and tag him, you are a scammer and expect him to give you money on the spot and he travel that money by Momo or cause a family to come and give you, you have kidnapped. Kenda knows this thing. So the crime is on both sides. Why will Kenda come on air and blow grammar as if he is now Napoleon Bonaparte's first right hand general? These are the issues that kills us every day because we come to the platform with Mr. Leo. I will refuse to say the truth because we think we are looking for favor. A crime is being committed. Crimes are committed on both sides. That is the crisis of war, Mr. Liu. If you go to the Katanga region, the Rwandan soldiers, those uh, who, uh, who are at the border between DRC and Rwanda, whenever there is war, military they commit atrocities, rebels commit atrocities. It's the common crisis of war. Could me anywhere. And so when it is happening, instead of us, like my brother is saying, blame game is not what pays. The question is, how do we stop this guy? Because they will always occur. I have military men in Boya and Bamenda who have constructed houses where they could not construct before. There are military officers who like doing what we call rampant patrol at night. And before morning, the amount of money they make by night when there is no situation at stake in Boya, Bamenda. Now, let me tell you what Keja does not know. Keja, I am now calling on you as an investigating journalist. Go to the military court in Bamenda and Boya. When you do your family, you come and meet me. Let me tell you how much money people make in the name of amber and terrorism charges. Hostility against the state, this and that, and they quote all of it. And before you know it, you are coughing money out. I'm talking about someone who has witnessed them. Go to different areas they call Legion. That's the, that is the, the, the Legion, uh, that's the Jalamay Legion headquarters in all the regions. 70 persons are there as I speak now. Go and ask they said they were called in the corner, they were called in this area, and they were supposed to have been working with amber. And before you know it, if you can transfer your file, your, your money as expected, all right, your case does not go through. If you cannot, it goes through. Go to Bamenda Central Prison and Boya Central Prison. I have some cases I'm still following up there. Then they said they picked along the line in Manfred Road. When the military was coming back, they picked along the line and said they were amber. And those ones who are rotting, rotting there, they don't have people to come and follow up their cases. Okay. So uh, it is a cry that we need to call for peace. Mm. And for the peace, let us find out what the root cause of this problem. If not, then we alone cannot solve it. But we are not because it is a national problem that can only be solved by one man. Mm -hmm. You call him the guarantor of peace, correct? And so, President Paul Bia is the only one. All the Iran boys bring grammar on any of CPD communicators cannot solve that problem. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh